Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to use web client in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. So let's start. As you can see on your screen, this is a JSON file and this particular JSON file I have hosted on GitHub and it will be accessed through an API. That particular API will be called using web client class. Now let's move to the index model class. Here I'll start by adding a namespace. I'm adding the namespace system.net. It is required for the web client class. So here I am creating a public property message. Whatever properties you create here can be inherited inside the razor page. That means if I create a property message here, I can easily use it in my razor page. This is quite again similar to the web forms where in our code behind class, if you create a protected or a public property, we can access it in our ASPX page. So inside the onGet method, I am setting property expect 100 continue to true. This particular property belongs to the service point manager class. When this particular property is set to true, data will only be sent when the initial headers such as authorization headers, etc. are OK and expect 100 continue flag is written from the server. So this actually saves bandwidth because what happens sometimes there is rejection from the server and in that case the data which we have sent has already taken up the bandwidth. The second property is security protocol and it also belongs to the service point manager class. This particular property specifies the security protocol we are using. In this case I am using TLS 1.2 because the GitHub server uses TLS 1.2. So as per your server requirement you can set the security protocol. Now further you will notice I have created an object of web client class and I am making use of the download string method of the web client class to call the API on GitHub. I have passed the URL of the API to the download string method and the result which is actually a JSON string is being captured in a string variable. Finally I am setting the string property with JSON response. So we are done in the index model class. Let's move to the razor page. So the message which we have set inside the onGet method, we will be displaying it here. So I am displaying the message property and similar to MVC, I am making use of model object. So at the rate model dot message will display the string message. So with this, we complete our programming part. Let's execute the code and see it in action. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. So as you can see, the contents of the JSON file has been read using the web client class and it has been printed on the page. With this, we come to the end of this video. Today, we learned how to make use of the web client class in ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.